Hello everyone, welcome back to Media Matters Entertainment. Today we're doing another toy review. Uh, this time, it's a character I'm a huge fan of. Uh, he makes up a pretty good chunk of my comic collection. Uh, it's Jonah Hex. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like the most badass Western character ever. And yet somehow they messed up your movie. I messed you up in live action twice because uh, Legends of Tomorrow didn't really do that great of a job either. They gave him the same origin story with the Quentin Turnbull guy giving him the scar, but in the comics, it's because his father like traded him as a slave to some Native Americans, and uh, you know he kind of became one of them. Until uh, the son of the, ch you know, he was favored by the chief and the chief's son hated him. So he challenged him to like a tomahawk duel where he like sabotaged Jonah Hex's tomahawk so it would fall apart. So Jonah Hex had to improvise and cheat and pull out a knife to kill him. And since he couldn't prove that the other guy cheated and it clearly looked like he cheated... Uh, the Native Americans uh, scarred his face with uh, with a uh, uh, steaming hot tomahawk, and that's how he got his scar. But uh, yeah, you know the movie was originally going to be like a low-budget R-rated movie starring Thomas Jane. You know, it was like a passion project. And then it got derailed because they got Josh, they replaced Thomas Jane with uh, Josh Brolin. And either one could have played the role just fine. Like Jonah Hex is one of those characters where there's really no definitive actor. There's plenty of actors who could play him fine. But uh, once Josh Brolin got in the role, the studio wanted to throw more money at it. And it became this big blockbuster instead of a gritty western. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where it went wrong. Jonah Hex, a movie doesn't need a big budget. In fact, you should put all the budget into making his face look scarier because that stupid prosthetic they put, keep putting on the actor is the same thing with uh, Legends of Tomorrow. It's basically the same prosthetic. Just do a little green screen so the actor doesn't have to cut their face up. But uh... Anyways, I'm a bit off topic. Oh yeah, I'm a big Jonah Hex fan. So I got this toy. Oh, the detail on that scar looks great. And there's also some like rips in his suit. Kind of looks like a zombie from a distance. I like it. That's Jonah Hex should feel like death walking at you. And that's what this toy conveys. It's like dirty. You know, it's got like his confederacy coat is all dirty and stuff ah, it's a great looking figure but uh the box I got it in is a little damaged here and there uh, this is also another connect a piece just like uh, the gorilla grod one from the Superman blue package uh, so yeah this one is like the leg of Bane uh, I don't think I'm even going to try to collect it all because the only one that really looks good is Azrael. Azrael looks better as a toy than he did in the comics. How, how does that even work? He actually kind of looks cool as a toy. But in the comics, he just looked ridiculous. But yeah. All right, let's open it up. I will master the art of unboxing toys with one hand. I will. I promise this to you. I've almost got it. There we go. Bane leg just fell out. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can put together all the different parts of these connective piece figures to make like some kind of toy Frankenstein monster. The arm of Gorilla Grodd and the leg of Bane. Look at this figure. The gun got a little bench in the package. Well, that might, maybe I can fix that. I don't know. But yeah, it's a bit bent. Ooh, it's a removable piece, hopefully. Oh well, he's got another gun right there. I gotta put the phone down for a second. I will birth you, Jonah Hex. Confound it. There we go. Got the little gun back in his hand. Uh, you know, like I said, it's bent. It's a little disappointing. But uh, otherwise, he's got the other gun, double barrel shotgun. Uh, great detail on this figure. That face looks great. Bit too blonde in the hair, but sometimes he is drawn like that. He's more like a dirty blonde, or... Yeah, he's like a dirty blonde. I like how his suit's all ripped. He's a battle-worn Jonah Hex. You should feel like death coming straight for you, and that's exactly what this figure gives you. It's great. It's got, like... Is that feathers? Why does he have random feathers? He collects feathers. It's his hobby. Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just random feathers. Uh, he's got cool gun belts. Let's see. Is the posability good on this? the movability like legs move nice getting nice movement out of the legs arms are a bit limited in motion it's kind of hard to show I should really get like a stand or something for my phone so I can double hand this I think I'll go out and get something tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's Jonah Hex, my favorite Western uh, hero from DC. Surprisingly, there are others. Uh, DC actually has quite a few Western characters. If they could do like a DC Magnificent Seven, that'd be really cool. Uh, anyways. This is a nice addition to my collection. Uh, good night. Like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. And uh, see you in the next video.